So, long story short, Doran's blade is a pretty, is, it's pretty shit now because of lifesteal. Old Doran's blade used to be pretty good because it had um, Omnivamp. Now it's only lifesteal, not so good. Doran's shield busted. Yeah, there now it shows. Uh, lifesteal, not that good. Doran's shield, very good. Um, so, we can buy this for just like the same reasons as before. I don't think we can buy this. I think this is shit. I, I don't think we can go Eclipse. I think that's really bad. We can still buy more. This is okay. This is shit. We can buy this. Um, yeah, this is bad. I can't buy this. I, this is okay, but I, I won't buy it probably. Fuck Hullbreaker. Um, Cleaver is okay. Anti-tank. Anti-tank. Starax, really good. Starax, really good. Starax, very nice. Uh, uh, Stridebreaker, very good. Sojin, very good. Very good. Sundat Sky, if I buy this... Okay, it's fine. Sundat Sky, very good. Death Stance... <coughs> looks pretty shit. Death Stance looks pretty bad. But it's okay. For armor, you can maybe buy it. For armor. Um, GA is GA. This is shit. This is shit. This is shit. So, bruiser items. We can think of this. This, this. Maybe this. This, 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 this. Maybe this. Everything else looks really bad. But I'm gonna try it anyways. Now, what's important are the tank items, guys. That's important. This is still good. And where's this new crazy item? Are this! This might be really good. This looks like a good magic resist item. It does. Ah, uh, Block, thank you for the sub. This looks like it could counter Oriana and like Zundra and stuff like that. So that is very good. Stride active deals zero damage. I know that, uh, but slow. So we will see. Um, yeah, this item looks li really interesting. Um, this... No, this is shit. Nah, no, I don't care. So basically the same, like, this is still good, this is still good, this is still good. Uh, Omen? Yeah, Omen is still good. <claps> Omen is good, we can buy Omen. Um, Force of Nature is... Eh. And yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think that's it. Do I care about anything else? I think all I care about is tank and fighter, right? I don't care. I don't care. R.I.P. R.I.P. Zerildas. R.I.P. R.I.P. This item is dead. This item is dead. I used to build Zerildas. I built er Zerildas for three years. Three years I buy this item. You will be missed. Zerilda, you will be missed. Anything else? This looks trash. Eh. Doesn't look too interesting to me. It doesn't look so interesting. Eclipse has highest win rate first item. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I haven't played yet, so it can't have a win rate. I dictate win rate. Come on, buddy. We will play the game, and then we'll, we'll f we will find out what's the highest win rate. <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, let's go. If they ban Aatrox, I am dodging. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually hyped again. I'm actually happy again. Dude, these last two months were fucking depression. I was fucking depressed. It was so boring. We actually have some fresh content. Is there anything we have to ban that's special? Or do I just still ban Vayne? I just wanna ban Vayne, still. I, I don't wanna play versus Vayne, honestly. I literally don't like Vayne. Yeah, fuck Vayne. Fuck that bitch. What I can tell you guys is that Sojin is good. <clears throat> okay. 
Um, Camille early game is good. It's pretty strong. And with early game, I mean like level 1, 2, 3. Once I get some high levels, she shouldn't be able to play the game. She has no E, so I can play aggressive like that. Okay. I pop my pot. I'm gonna get level 3. And then... We look further from that spot. Okay. That's very good. Very nice, no bomb plating. They have Leblanc jungle. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is Leblanc jungle and why would you play that? Okay, she's not really panicking. Uh, Leblanc could be top lane, so I'm just gonna chill and last it. I hope she's pushing into me now. If I miss the Q, it's fine. Okay. Wait, I'm a fucking idiot. It was Viego, and the Leblanc is on my team, and she died. Holy shit, I have the brain cell of a fucking Chihuahua. Ain't no fucking way I thought I they had Leblanc jungle. Oh my goodness. I just noticed that. Holy fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Why did my W hit the Viego? I was aiming for the Camille. If I hit the Camille, I trade one for one worth. But I couldn't hit her, which is very annoying. Wait, where's Sojin? Alright. I think I'm just going pickaxe. Oh, I shouldn't have TP'd. Ah, fuck. My bad, sorry. The TP was bad. I mean, I guess I can freeze this now. I can set up a freeze. If, if my TP is bad, I can, like, cut the wave down, let it push into me, start the wave here. Like, if I don't TP, um, the wave will crash. But now I TP'd, which is... It was a bad TP. I wasn't looking at the wave. She loses this, though. She loses all of this. She recalled on a very bad wave. The Viego should help her uh, shove the wave. By the way, if we don't see lots of success with Sojin, we can also play other items. It's not a huge deal. Good poke. Bro, did she really spend that money for fucking ability haste? That, that can't be good. Okay, this wave is really good. I got the kill from the shield explosion. Thank you, Ivan. By the way, this wave is super good. Very good wave. This is why you shouldn't play with Ignite on as a top laner. Like, I died on a gank, and she recalled on a bad wave, and now look, I am double her CS, she died because of bad wave state, and now what's the point of going Ignite? Now, now your lane is, like, so much more difficult to play. Uh, very stupid. Like, I, that's why you need TP. If you wanna go Ignite, you go ignite TP. You don't just go flash ignite like an ignorant fucking like especially now, where like top lane is an even bigger even bigger island now than before, and you don't go TP. Looks a bit ignorant. What is this by the way? Touch of the void. So does that mean if I attack a tower, it deals bonus damage? I think that's what that is, right? Wave is very good for me. Yeah, she might die in this bitch. Oh, very good Q. I hit her before the shield came. Bro, I'm just gonna bully her now. I'm like really strong. Unless I get ganked, then that sucks, but I'm fine. By the way, um, so I, I saw other people talk about it, like other high elo players that played like PBE a lot. And they already played like League of Legends. They say that like ganking from here on top lane... And like just in general, like it's very difficult. Like like ganking, it's not very difficult, but like ganking in season 14 is noticeably um it's noticeably more difficult. So apparently 
lane ganking became much better. Uh, Dave, thank you for the sub, and jokes on you, thank you for the sub. What do you think about the whole video? Uh, amazing. It looked great, I love it. Aatrox looked very lickable. That was amazing. I don't know how you did it. Oh damn, that's a lot of damage. Bro, look at that. Uh, so far, I have no opinion. Uh, Sojin looked good, but it also looked good in PBE, so... I'm overstaying a bit. But I have my Sojin now, plus I can buy boots now by overstaying. So, I don't care. I think she's chasing me down. Yeah! I won that, I don't care what you say. Oh my god, I have cancer. It's okay. That Q1 was criminal. Nobody saw that Q1. Nobody. Close your eyes. But yeah, she has no t TP. If you die without TP on top lane, pack your bags goodbye. It's over. How can you play without TP? You are fucked. If, like, games when I'm 0-3, I still have great CS when I'm 0-3. Not if you don't have TP. If you don't have TP, you lose all of your CS. All of it. Okay, the enemy Lucian is extremely fed. Um, I don't really wanna buy Omen just for one champion. Wait, no, he also has crit. You know what? I think Omen... Omen might not be bad. Omen might be good here. Crit fed, crit fed. I think we could do it. Okay, Tabis. Tabis are very good here. I swear to god, I think we go Omen. Omen into like high damage. Like Omen into Sundered Sky or something. Like Omen counters these two. It does. And it also slows. And they only have one AP. And I am confident enough to not buy Magic Resist early for 1 AP. Yeah, Zeraf. I don't care about Zeraf. He can just dodge. Dodge. Oriana, you can't dodge. Zeraf, you can dodge. What the hell? Now, doing this skirmish will be difficult. Bro, how does that not pull? I am so sorry. How does that not pull? I, I fucked up my tempo on the fight, but it was okay. My Zix is low HP even though nobody is top lane. Who are you dying to? <laughs> this was a four uh, this was a two for one on bot lane. Who are you dying to on top lane? This is a um uh spirit game by the way. I think after Omen I buy a damage item and then I go spirit. Four people top lane. They're just, like, their team is just much better than ours. Like, I, like that's just a uh, cold-hearted fact. The only people that play with me are Ivan and Bart. I fucked up my Q. I fucked up my Q1. I think even if I hit my Q1, she doesn't die. I should ulti first. But I didn't want to ulti for that. It would have been a waste. Because then we had to fight these other guys. And then my ulti would be like... 
Very delayed. Like I said, we have like these guys. Look at this. It's basically a 3v5 everywhere we go. Look at that movement speed. Very nice. Good job. Shutdown is good. Okay, we have to like play for the Drake. We need a Drake. If we get the Drake, we have time to buy our items and time to scale. And that that's how we win. If they get the soul, it's gonna be really hard to defend and then we're gonna die. I should have waited a bit. Oh! Sorry about that. Oh, I couldn't dash that? Oh, come on. Alright, well played. Good. Very nice. Can I dash that corner? Usually Aatrox can cut corners like that. Yeah, next step is Maw. I think Maw is smart. I think Maw would be good. What are these recommended items? Why is it recommending Stride Breaker? Like, what? Okay, don't get poked out. I'm trying to create some pressure over here. I have to be careful of Oriana. Oh! Wow! Ah, that was so close. That was so close. Okay, I'm gonna recall now, now move to Drake. Um, I don't have enough money for more, but it's fine, I get uh, more damage. Good! Well played! Good Drake, good Drake, good Drake! Go dragon. Wait, this applies to monsters? Wait, this applies to everybody. Oh, wow, interesting. Huh. I can stack it on minions as well. That is something new. I didn't know that. That is a lot of fucking ability damage. Okay. Alright, next up, they have high mobility. Stride could be good. They are very mobile champions. I think Stride Breaker could be good. Yeah. I think that that's nice. Okay, that's not good. What, why go Icebawn when I can go Stride? Icebawn is... If I need even more, I, I, I'll go Icebawn. I'm a retard. How the fuck did I mess up that angle? How the fuck do I mess that up? What? By the way, I only have Spear of Sojourn right now as a um, ability haste item. Like, this is no ability haste. Maw is no ability haste. I should have used Omen. I can't fight that. I fucked it up a little bit. Okay. Why is this range? Oh, he has uh, rapid fire. Okay. I'm quite tanky. I am pretty tanky, I like that. <laughs> Especially with the Ivan in my back shielding me as the front line, it's very good. Okay, get the tower, get the tower, get the tower. 
That's a lot of damage. Holy... Oh, it was the 6W. Yo, how the delusion is dead. I messed up the fucking thing. I'm alive. I messed up my Q timing. Well done. I think we finish. Yeah, this build makes me very tanky and deals good damage. It's basically like the old build, but instead of Dusk Blade, instead of Dusk Blade, I just go Omen. So basically, we do the same as we did before. Um, the only difference is, I could switch or uh, I could si switch the Spear of Sojourn. So instead of Spear of Sojourn, I could go Sundat Sky or Eclipse or anything else. Omen, I had to buy more. I had to buy Spear of Sojourn is good, but I could have like. I could have switched it up. I could do. I could have done something different from Spear of Sojourn. But the thing is, it needs ability haste. I need ability haste. First item has to be ability haste, and Sojourn has a lot of it. So yeah.